Microsoft has done it again. They have released a very catchy, enticing paper with a very clickbaity title, Spreadsheet LLM Encoding Spreadsheet for Large Language Models. We all know that all of these LLMs struggle a lot when they have to deal with spreadsheets. So that is why whenever you read a title like, like that, you immediately jump onto this that now Microsoft, a very reputable company, has released a model which we can use to analyze the data to manage the data within spreadsheets. But lo and behold, there are no weights, there is no instructions as how can we run it locally or in the cloud, it is just a paper. Nonetheless, we can all only wish and pray that Microsoft is going to release the paper, uh, not the paper, the weights and the model and how to run it soon so that we could actually try it out. Until then, let's see what this paper is all about because it is Microsoft, so I will trust them that they are going to release it sooner rather than later. So what this paper is all about? This paper is presenting a very new idea called a spreadsheet LLM. That is a new approach to enable large language models to better understand and process spreadsheets. The main idea is to develop an efficient encoding method that can compress spreadsheets into a format that LLM can work with, overcoming token constraints and improving performance. There are two approaches this paper proposes. First, vanilla serialization, which is a basic approach that includes cell addresses, values, and formats, but is limited by token constraints. Second approach is sheet compressor, which is a more advanced encoding framework that compresses spreadsheets using three modules. First, structural anchor-based compression. Second, inverse index translation. And thirdly, data format-aware aggregation. Sheet compressor significantly outperforms the vanilla approach and achieves state-of-the-art results on the spreadsheet table detection tasks. The paper also proposes a new downstream task, chain of spreadsheet, to demonstrate the effectiveness of spreadsheet LLM in various spreadsheet tasks. So all in all, the paper aims to improve LLM's ability to understand and process spreadsheets by developing an efficient encoding method, sheet compressor which achieves significant performance gains and state-of-the-art results. So what exactly this paper is trying to do? We all know that spreadsheets, all of these Excel, Google Sheets and various others have now become ubiquitous for data management and they are extensively utilized within the platforms like Microsoft Excel, uh, Google Sheet, OpenOffice. Understanding spreadsheet layout and structure is a long-standing challenge for traditional models and it is very crucial for effective data analysis and intelligent user interaction. Recently, the rapid development of all of these LLMs has opened new frontiers in table processing and reasoning. But spreadsheets pose unique challenges for LLMs due to their expensive grids that usually exceed the token limitation of popular LLMs as well as their inherent two-dimensional layouts and structures which are poorly suited to linear and sequential input. Furthermore, LLMs often struggle with spreadsheet-specific features such as cell addresses and formats, complicating their ability to effectively parse and utilize spreadsheet data. And that is where this spreadsheet LLM, which seems to be a pioneering framework to unleash and maximize the potential of LLMs for spreadsheet understanding and reasoning. And they have proposed this vanilla encoding method to serialize spreadsheet into sequences, augmenting the markdown encoding method by including essential cell addresses and optionally formats. And then large spreadsheets that exceed the token limits of LLM not only limit their processing but also, as observed in prior studies, degrade accuracy performance as the size increases. And to address these challenges, they have proposed Sheet Compressor, which is a new encoding framework that comprises of three things, structural anchors for efficient layout understanding, inverted index translation, and then finally data format aggregation. And there are a lot of other examples. For example, if you look at this diagram, this is a sheet compressor framework. The original sp spreadsheet contains two tables on the left, featuring numerous data entries or hierarchical headers, which can be viewed in, you know, um, if you maximize it, let me try to maximize it. To see if you can able to see it. Okay, so this is the one which I was referring to. Now, 
then we have uh, the completed spreadsheet consists of 576 rows and 23 columns with a vanilla encoding of 61,240 tokens. Initially, they have first extracted cells using structural anchors, rearranging them into a smaller 24 by 8 sheet. Subsequently, they have performed index invert, removing empty cells. And then finally, they have aggregated cells based on data formats, achieving an extremely compact representation of spreadsheet, which contain only 700 plus tokens. That's it, which is quite good. And that is why I'm so excited and a bit disappointed at the same time as why didn't they release the model weights anyway so we have set enough there now one of the interesting example i found in their paper and i will drop the link to it in video description is this one where they have shown that how gpt4 struggled to understand spreadsheets um, i have passed some google sheets to gpt4 for data analysis especially in csv format and Google um, GPT-4 O is quite good, but when you pass it the Excel sheet, it struggles. And I agree with that. For example, look at this. So we have passed it a sheet and then we are saying challenge of you in understanding Excel spreadsheet data. And then chat GPT is telling us that these are the challenges like lack of visual context, formulas and functions. And I can add macros are there, data size and complexity embedded object and feature version and all this stuff and then if you look at this one when we ask it do you have any internal usage of characteristic of spreadsheet data for example the format of each cell encoding and all that stuff so chat gpt is still saying no i struggle and it is saying that um, what it what it does is it just encodes the data and that's uh, feed the data into spreadsheet for interaction like in plain text representation then it avoid the spreadsheet specific feature at all so if you have functions then it will simply ignore them if you have macros it is going to simply ignore them which in many cases just kills the purpose of your data analysis so you want your llm to understand all these nuances of spreadsheet like your functions your macros your pivot tables charts and all that relationships so just imagine if we put our data into a spreadsheet with all that relationship, then we put it into graph rag, which we already have covered. It could be real amazing stuff. So the more I think about it, the more I believe that this spreadsheet LLM could be a real game changer if they release it. So all in all, really, I mean, uh, I would say um, interesting paper, but let's hold our horses until they release something. I hope that you liked it. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it that as that helps a lot. Thanks for watching.